An appeals court has overturned a controversial bail reform settlement here in Texas. KTSM 9 News anchor Christina Awayo investigated and joins us now with what she's learned. Now, because of a major ruling handed down by the Fifth Circuit Court of Appeals, judges, either in district court or county court, cannot be sued for setting bond or adopting bail schedules. According to Ken Good, a Texas bond attorney, groups including the ACLU sent letters to every county in the state of Texas threatening to sue over how bail bonds are set, leading judges, he said, to live under constant threat of lawsuit. The push to abolish the bail bond system, he said, is already causing chaos and rising violence in Texas and across the nation. You are taking a system that works and has been proven to work for over 200 years, and you, are, you don't have something to replace it with. And that's why we're seeing chaos being created across the country, because the district attorney issued a report saying that was the cause or one of the causes of increasing crime. You want to protect the poor, but you don't want to set, a, set up a system that ties the hands of the judges so that they can't even address organized crime, gangs, uh, uh, career criminals. Officer Douglas Griffith agrees, saying criminals, even murderers, are being released almost instantaneously and immediately are committing more crimes. We have to find a way to do that through our courts, through the judicial system. Uh, we know who the worst offenders are. You're going to know that. If you're assaulting a, a police officer, if you're firing upon citizens, you have already proven that you are not a productive member of society and we have to hold you accountable. That means locking you away to keep our citizens safe. According to EPPD, bail here in El Paso is set by the court, the judge, the magistrate, or the officer taking the bail. Reporting in downtown El Paso, Christina Awayo, KTSM 9 News.